Does your computer choke whenever you're running Superior 2? Do you have performance problems whenever you're running one of those monstrous freak-like kits because they're so big? Offline bouncing is handy whenever your computer can handle everything that Superior 2 might throw at it, okay? Now, basically what Superior's offline bouncing will do is take a MIDI sequence and then turn it into audio files for you to bring into a project, thus removing any strain Superior might have on your computer, okay? Now, it's also cool to use this option whenever you plan on transferring files with a buddy in another country, or if you're one of those folks who likes to claim that they have a big studio with a lot of mics and they know how to record drums really well. Yeah, you know you're out there. So, how do we get into the bounce window? Well, for starters, we come up to the top and we click the bounce tab right here, and boom, there it is. Doesn't look too intimidating, though, does it? That's because it's not. It's a really straightforward, simple operation whenever you're going to do offline bouncing, okay? A quick geography lesson. This right here is the record enable button. This is what you'll engage when it's time for you to buffer the MIDI events or sequence that you've created. The next option is Bounce Through Mixer. Now this option is basically going to produce one file per output that you have in the Superior Mixer, and it will print the effects chain as well. Now the next option is All Bleed On, okay? With this option engaged, you will hear all the other kit pieces bleeding into it, versus if you do not have it, you'll basically hear a closed, isolated bounce. The next option is split direct from bleeding. You can use this option if you want to create two files per microphone where one of those two files will be a closed mic situation or an instrument in isolation and it'll have the suffix close and then the other file will have all the other instruments bleeding into that microphone and it'll have a suffix of bleed. The next option is to choose between 24 and 16 bit. Now, just to give you a little info here, whenever Superior 2 was created, it was done so in 24 bit. However, if you don't mind a slight quality difference and hard disk space is an issue, you may want to consider utilizing the 16 bit option. Now, this next option is pretty cool. It's called Split Microphone Option. And by choosing it, you're telling Superior to go ahead and separate the overhead microphones into individual symbols when bouncing. And in addition to that, you will also have an audio file that contains the kicks, snare, toms, hats, and you know all the other things that might be picked up in the overhead channel. So that's pretty cool if you want some hyper-realistic control over each one of the symbols. The next section lets you know if any clipping has happened. And what happens whenever there is clipping, Superior will go ahead and correct it. So it's very cool in that aspect. Now, you might be wondering why this section here is grayed out. Well, that pertains to the bounce through mixer option. This will control the post mixer volume. And here, this lets you know what the output level is. And the red light, just like over here, will let you know if there's any clipping that's going on. The next option is the bounce button. You'll press this button after you have buffered the sequence or MIDI events and made all of your choices up here. Last but not least is the close button. Boom. So now you have a basic idea of what everything does. Okay? But I want y'all to stay tuned because in the next video, we're going to go ahead and actually do some bouncing and I'm going to let you hear what difference these options will make. Okay? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a second. Bye-bye.